What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create BIM system, but this time, we are going to sketch it. So from our last video, if you remember this area here, we created this BIM system, our concrete BIM system automatically. So this time, we are going to learn how to sketch it. So let's say I'm going to create a steel beam in this area here. Okay, so I'm going to use a sketch option to create my beam system, my steel beam system. Okay, so let me go to the 02 floor to start it. So this is the area. Okay, and then I'm going to click this one so that it will open as well the 3D view so we can see how it looks like in 3D. Now going back here on my floor plan. So let's start. So from the structure tab, structure panel, so let's click our BIM system. The shortcut is BS for BIM system. So let's click that. And then after that, on our BIM system here, make sure sketch BIM system is selected. So let's click that one. And then after that, from our properties, so let us change the pattern here. So for my layout rule, I'm going to change that to fix distance fixed distance within uh, six feet and then the justification is center but for my beam type instead of concrete i'm going to change that to steel like w wide flange w12 by 26 so let's click this one okay and then after that let's go to our draw panel i'm going to click here peak supports Okay, so it adds sketch lines based on existing structural walls and beams. So let's click this one. And then after that, I'm going to click now this beam here. And then you can see there's a double line there, a double horizontal short line. So that means that will going to be the direction of your uh, beam. Okay, so like horizontal. Okay, horizontal. Right, so I'm going to click the other remaining beam here. Click that one. And then let's click this one as well. This one, this one, and then this one. All right. So there's another, another option here, which is beam direction, wherein you can change the beam direction. So instead of horizontal, you can make that vertical. But I'm not going to use that one, so I'll just prefer this one. So I'm going to select here, finish edit mode. So let's click that. And there you go. Okay, and then I'm going to select here modify. So in 3D view, this is how it looks like. And then here on my 2D view, so automatically it creates the tags as well. Okay, so how about if we are going to change the direction? So I'm going to undo this one up to here. All right, so, so let's click again uh, boundary line, pick supports. Okay, so this time I'm going to click a horizontal beam here. So I'm going to click that. And then as you can see, the double short line. Now it's vertical, so meaning that will going to be the direction of my beams. Okay, so let's click that. Click, click. And then let's finish this one. Finish edit mode. And there you go. So this is how it looks like. So obviously that's not the correct one. It's not the correct design, so I'm going to undo that one. Let's undo. Okay, and then I'm going to select your beam direction. Pick support, and then let's click this. There you go. All right, and then after that, tag new members in view. You have an option here if you want to have a tag automatically on your beams. But if we are going to click the drop down and then select none, so let's see what will happen. So I'm going to select here, finish edit mode. And there you go. As you can see, there is no tag here anymore. And then I'm going to select here, modify. Right? Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.